In this video, we are going to dive into how to download custom avatars, platforms, and sabers. My name is Legionnaire, teaching you ways on how to maximize your gameplay experience within Beat Saber. Make sure you already have Mod Assistant installed and all the links mentioned in this video will be in the description box down below. Let's get into this. Open and close out of the game once before starting this. For custom sabers, we will open Mod Assistant, click the Mods tab, and check mark custom sabers. Once you check marked it, click install or update. That's the easiest one, but for custom avatars and platforms, as you can see, they don't appear in here anymore. They are separate now from Mod Assistant, and with that being said, there are more mods you can download outside of the Mod Assistant mod list, but they didn't get approved. For avatars and platforms, I will have the individual links to where you need to download them in the description, but I will be showing you how to access them via the Beat Saber modding Discord channel. Trust me, you will want to for most if not all your future Beat Saber needs, or skip this section via the timestamps in the description and proceed to open the links. Once there, go into the search bar, click on it, and pick the in filter and type in exactly the channel you want to be and search in, which is PC-Mods, followed by the mod's name that you want. We will start with custom avatars and make sure the filter is also set to the newest as there are different past versions and you need the most updated one. Click on the jump indicator and it will bring you up to it. In order to make custom avatars to work, you need both of these links. Clicking on the custom avatars link, you will be brought into another page and the zip files you want to download and open is the one with release zip file in its name. That will be the case going forward, remember that. I dropped the file onto my desktop for easy access and open the folder. We are going to drop the contents into our Beat Saber folder which you can access easily through Mod Assistant in Settings and Open Folder. Put the file folder next to the zip file. Now if you never had custom avatars folder before, you can copy and drop it over to the main folder. If you have custom avatars folder from previous installations in the main folder like I do, do not copy this over or you will lose all the avatars you have downloaded. Instead, open it, grab the contents and drop it into the folder. For dynamic open VR, you can copy this over and if you have previous versions installed before, you can just simply overwrite it in your main folder. In plugins folder, enter it and drop the custom avatars.dll file into the main plugins folder. Next, go to the dynamic open VR link. Click on it and on the page you see that there's a lot of text explaining about the mod and which to install. The short explanation is to always install dynamic open VR for Oculus version and only install both dynamic open VR and dynamic open VR.beatsaber if you're using Steam VR. Since I don't use SteamVR, I just download Dynamic Open VR release zip version, but don't worry, I'll showcase what to do if you have SteamVR as it's a repeat in steps. I extracted the contents to my desktop, open it, and having it next to my Beat Saber folder. Going along the file folder names, I open them up and transfer the content over to their respective folders as such. Go into libs, as well as in the main Beat Saber folder, Grab dynamic openvr.dll and just drop it in. Next, go to plugins folder for both folders and drop in the dynamic openvr manifest into it. That's all you have to do if you are an Oculus user, but if you are a Steam VR user, then you have to download openvr oculus.beatsaber release zip as well. Since I already downloaded dynamic openvr, I just simply go into it, go into the actions folders for both, and drop in the beatsaber file that's in there. Next, go into the bindings folder in both folders, copy everything, and drop it into the main folder. Now we go back into the plugins folder that's in that file, and then drop in the dynamic openvr beatsaber dll file. Going back into Discord and in the search bar, I replace custom avatars with custom platforms and click to jump. Next, press the download icon. A pop-up will appear saying the file might harm your computer, and this comes back to what I said earlier in the video that these mods are improved as in checked by moderators and published on Mod Assistant due to the complexity of certain mods. I never had issues with it personally, so I will leave it up to your guys' discretion and even looking at people's input in the general chat channels in the BeatSaber modding discord. Continuing forward, I open the file location for it in my downloads folder 
and drop it into my plugins folder. That's it. Finally, time to download Saber's avatars and platforms of your liking. Make sure to have enabled the one-click install in the options tab of Mod Assistant as it will make this process of downloading them directly to your Beat Saber folder. Go to bsaber.com, hover over to plugins, click on any of the mod choices you want to start with. You have many selections, so choose whichever one you want by clicking install. A pop-up will appear to open Mod Assistant. Click yes and you will get a notification that it's been downloaded into the folder. I do this for everything, but if for some reason it's not working, then just download them manually and drop them into their respective folders. I jump in the game, go to mods tab on the left, and there you go. We have custom avatars, sabers, and platforms. I went ahead just downloading a bunch of them as you can see the selection is huge and you can have the same amount as well. An important thing to know is that updates or music packs that are released from the developers of the game will affect all your mods so if one day they don't show up or are not working well you will have to wait for a new version at that point from the individual modders and making sure the game version is up to date on Mod Assistant which that part is now automatic. Though in some cases the updates might have been small and just simply remove the plugins just like in my case with 1.9.1 game version and all I did was drop back the missing files that I have already downloaded onto my desktop back into the Beat Saber folder. You will find this information about updates via the Beat Saber modding discord channel when people in droves start posting, my mods ain't working, but with the knowledge I gave you, you know why they aren't in certain cases. If you found this video enlightening and expanding your Beat Saber world, then give it a like, share it, and subscribe for more future content. Quick shout out to all those who have given me encouraging words on my videos. My next goal is 300 subs. We are so close, guys. We can do it. For updates to when I will be posting more videos, you can follow my social links in the description. I also play other games with my friends, so check them out as well. If you have questions, either reach out to me in the comment sections or the modding community, but overall, help each other out. Thank you for being Beat Saber champions, I wish you all the best, and peace out.